we're going to cook up some uh, navy beans. So before I start, just let me say there are so many different ways of putting this together and this is just one of them. And what I didn't do, which they say to do all the time, and I always question these things, is to soak the beans overnight. What happens if you don't? Nothing. I've cooked beans without soaking them so many times. And if somebody says you can't do that, well, the proof is in the pudding. So today I'm going to use what I have on hand, carrots, peppers, garlic, shallots, bay leaf. And when you use bay leaves, you see the color of mine? They're getting kind of old. When you buy the bay leaves, make sure they have a nice green color to them. And I'm putting, because I like to season things differently, and I put thyme and allspice. So what we do first is we sweat up the vegetables in a little oil or butter. Not saying that you don't have to brown them, but it's navy beans, it's white, and I want to keep the white color. So we sweat up the vegetables. Why do you do that? Just brings out the flavor a little bit more. This will take a couple of minutes. Now these vegetables have been sweating for about three minutes. And you know what? Just like this, if you had a piece of chicken topped with this, it would be delicious. It's even off a nice aroma. Just remember what I said, there are many, many ways of doing this. I'm not using any smoked pork products, which you can put in here, or bacon, bacon grease. I'm trying to make this a little bit more, I don't want to say healthy, but just different, easy. And uh, I'm using three quarters of a pound of beans. The only thing I did do with the uh, navy beans was to wash them. Not in soap and water, just rinse them off good. I'm supposed to pick through them, but I don't pick through anything. I just put it. So that's three quarters of a pound. And there's something dark that we don't want. And you can either use stock, beef stock, chicken stock, vegetable stock, or water. Starting off with a quart of water. And don't put any salt in this now because salt, especially the, the amount of time this takes to cook, salt gets stronger and stronger. Now we just cover this with a nice tight lid and we'll come back in a couple of hours and see how it is. I have it on the highest flame and as soon as you see a little simmering turn it down as low as it you can go cover it and we'll check it not in two hours we'll check it in, an, in about a half hour see what the water level is because we don't want to be this too soupy looking when it's done and uh, that might be enough water as it is right now. It's been two hours and 15 minutes and the beans are done. You can eat them like this. But I'm going to reduce the liquid just a little bit and then mash them with a whip so it gets a little creamy creamy texture to it. That's what usually done is like when you make red beans. And then we're going to season it at the very end. Just with salt and pepper. So I'll reduce this. This is the way it looks right now. This should take just maybe up to five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. Now as you see, it's a little creamier. It's the right amount of liquid. We're going to take a whip and break up some of the beans. Get it to be even more creamier. Now 
And then the next day, when you reheat this, then you have what they call refried, refried beans. It'll be even thicker. The thicker something is, the longer it stays on your tongue and the tastier it is. Anything thin just goes right down your throat, too quick. How's that? Now, creamy, nice, and now we're going to season it. Well, all in all, after I season it with a little salt and pepper, that's it. I could put Tabasco in there, but I'm not doing it. And this is the first time I've made the beans with these ingredients. It's a little different, but it's very pleasant. I hope you enjoyed the recipe.